My name is Jerry Freeman, and uh, I've come down with my wife, Nancy, and we've come down to explore and kind of retire and, in Costa Rica, and then we're looking at uh, other countries, too. We're going to do a lot of exploring. So when we came down here, uh, we came down with really a minimum of equipment with the idea of uh, having a lot of freedom to move around, not getting tied down in any one place, and really looking around a lot. When we packed, I gave Nancy uh, a day pack and a duffel bag, and I said, you can take anything you want. Just put it in these two bags. So when Nancy and I came down, we were looking at a, a lifestyle that would allow us a lot of freedom, a lot of mobility to look at things. And so right away we knew that we were going to just rent a property in a certain area and, and use it as a base camp, which was here in the Central Highlands. And then we just explored from there. We may go out for two or three days or a week. One time we went out actually for three months before we came back. One of my rules, if I didn't use it the third trip out, no matter how much I thought I needed it, I left it at home. And once I was on the road, you realize you really don't need a lot of stuff. So Nancy and I really enjoyed developing a lifestyle as a minimalist. And it's really certainly not for everybody. A minimalist realizes that a, a lot of uh, the this, this stuff and everything really ties you down. Sometimes it owns you. Traveling lights actually given us a lot of freedom. Instead of having two or three of one thing to do a certain purpose, you just get by with, with one kitchen knife, one sharp kitchen knife. This house was unfurnished that we're living in now, so we bought uh, a mattress and a couple rocking leather Sarchi rocking chairs and everything. Uh, so we're looking at doing a lot more traveling and we've gotten used to being a minimalist. We've got one duffel bag and one day pack and everything that we've used in the last year and a half has come from there. We're headed out to Peru in a week and uh, we sold everything in two days. Recovered probably most of our money. The transportation that we use down here, it was a little bit of adaptation of not having a car or two cars or three cars. We adopted uh, that we were, we were going to spend our time and all of our transportation riding the buses. So we learned the, the uh, bus schedules. The problem sometimes were we're about a half a mile from the bus stop here. So carrying uh, things like going to the ferry, uh, buying lots of fruits and vegetables and things, and coming back consisted of about a half a kilometer walk uphill. Uh, several weeks and you're back in shape. It doesn't really seem like a very long trip anymore. Uh, when we first got here, we really didn't know our way around very much, so uh, we used taxis, which were from uh, our first base camp. It was approximately $6 from town out, so we would catch the bus into town for 30 or 40 cents. And then once we had groceries or any kind of a weight items that we bought, then we would just uh, hire a taxi to take us back home. We quickly started using the tame, same cab driver so he knew where we lived and, and things like that. But the transportation by bus, actually uh, I really dislike driving cars now. I can sit in the bus and look around. There's really a lot of interesting local people that you see. The uh, seven months that we've been in this location in Rio Jesus, we're starting to recognize uh, everybody that gets on the bus. They say good morning to you. A couple of them uh, speak a little English, but it certainly has helped my Spanish, and they're more than willing to help you with that here. Well, our communication systems here, when I got here, uh, as a gringo, if you don't have a local, a, a corporate Costa Rican corporation or something, you really can't get a phone. So our, it ended up that our cab driver's brother, who spoke a little bit of English, was uh, able to get us actually a cell phone. So uh, when we got the cell phone, they have uh, 3G phone service here, so it allows me uh, unlimited internet access, so the total bill for uh, unlimited access for internet, even though it's a little slow, I uh, have to give up YouTube, the total cost for the, for the phone and unlimited internet is $10. Our electric bill in this house has been running about $8.50 a month. Our water bill is about $5 a month. Our biggest uh, expense probably that we're living here is probably food. And then uh, eating out is probably about 30% of our food budget, so uh, it's a, certainly a simple lifestyle. You know, in the U.S., our electric bill often, because we either needed air conditioning or we needed heating, we lived in Colorado, we lived in some warm places in the United States also, so it's nothing to have a $200 electric bill. Here we've averaged uh, around $8 to $8.50 a month for electricity. but. 
We don't have a television. Uh, we left it out on the curb for the trash pickup and we left the U.S. So the only power that we're using here, we've got about um, maybe four electric light bulbs in the whole house and then I charge my laptop computer and my phone. So that's the total use of electricity. And typically uh, $8, certainly less than $9 a month. Uh, one of the uh, things to learn here, and there's certainly a learning curve about the culture, about the food, transportation. Food, for example, uh, the local ferry here is every Friday and Saturday, and all the local farmers bring, they truck their uh, fresh produce in. So a trip through there with, with absolutely beautiful fruit and vegetables, tomatoes, pineapples are 60 cents a piece. Uh, we'll actually buy most of our fruit, food out of the ferry. One of our, our considerations when we came to Costa Rica, our criteria was uh, all the food that we would be able to eat was being grown within 50 miles of where we live. This is my wife, Nancy. We've been together for about 32 years, and as a pilot, I've dragged her around the country and around the globe in a lot of places, sometimes kicking and screaming. But <laughs> when we came down to Costa Rica, we both were looking at a minimalist lifestyle. Uh, the cost of shipping our stuff down here was really prohibitive, and it would just tie us down. Uh, so, Nancy, how's the comfort level been here in the cabinas in Costa Rica with four light bulbs and a propane stove? I have uh, come to enjoy it because I'm <clears throat> noticing that I don't want a lot of stuff. In the States, you know, it was just kind of like doing like what everybody else does. So um, when I came to Costa Rica uh, a year and a half ago, uh, it changed me and I like it. And I don't want to bring all my stuff into Costa Rica like I did in the States. I want to have less of that. So I'm enjoying that now. Well, you know, the, the lifestyle we're leading here of being a minimalist, and we're getting better and better at it every day, realizing stuff we don't need and the attachment we had to all of our stuff. I've been paying uh, $1,500 a year to store my stuff that I haven't used in a year and a half, and like, I don't need it anymore. And so by letting go of that and actually having our baggage and stuff that that's the, meets the minimum baggage requirements or maximum requirements going on an airline, we've got freedom. So we've traded our stuff for really a new, a new type of American dream of freedom is what we want. So we've been here in Costa Rica a year and a half. We've had a great time. We've met a lot of interesting gringos. We've met a lot of interesting local people and gotten to know them. It's a beautiful country. Uh, but we're packing our bags and we're uh, thinking of another item on the bucket list. We thought we had done them all, but they keep coming to us. So we're headed to Machu Picchu and uh, explore that. Not sure how long we're gonna go. We might be there a month. We might be there six months. We may just uh, be there for years, I don't know, but we're going to go check it out. Maybe there's some other places we can go, but because we travel light, we're not really tied down with uh, owning a house or property here that we have to kind of sell first. So we're going to do all this thing and check out the bucket list because we can.